Hello everyone. This is teacher Hadil again. How are you doing today? Welcome back in our science class. Now please check your answers in the workbook for the previous lesson, pages 15 and 16. For this lesson, you need to bring your science book and your pencil. We have chapter number one, force and motion. And in this week, we will talk about lesson number two, how does force affect motion? As usual, every lesson, we have learning objectives. At the end of the lesson, you will be able to know that pushes and pulls affect motion. The effects of balanced and unbalanced forces on the motion of an object. How friction affects motion. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to figure out the meaning of these words. Force, friction, balanced forces, unbalanced forces, magnetism. Now please look at this picture in your textbook, pages 14 and 15. And the question is, tell which way you predict the leash will move. Your answer will be, the leash will move in the direction that the dog pulls it. Look at the picture in front of you. You can see a wagon. The question is, how does a wagon move? Your answer will be, you have to push or pull it. Look at this picture. You can see a baseball player hits the ball. The bat pushes against the ball. A force cause the motion, speed, and direction of the ball to change. So, a bat needs contact to apply force. You can see in this picture, the man is trying to push the object. So, a push moves the object far from you. While in this picture, you can see the man is trying to pull the object. So, a pull moves the object toward to you. So, at the end, we should know the meaning of force. Force is a push or pull, as you see in the pictures. And now, please open your textbook page number 15 and let's try to find the answer for question number one. Complete the graphic organizer list facts that support the conclusion. Fact number one. A force is a push or pull. Fact number two, a bat pushes a ball. And fact number three, a bat must make contact to push. Now open your book to page number 16, question number two. Circle the picture where the girl is pushing more mass. Now look at the picture. Where do you think that the girl is pushing more mass? To the right or to the left? Of course, your answer should be to the right. Now, put an X on the picture where she must use more force to change the motion. Your answer will be to the right also. So, at the end, a large force will cause a greater change in motion than a smaller force. Okay, now let's answer question number three, page 16 in your textbook. You need to move a chair to another place in the classroom. How does the amount and direction of force determine how much the chair will move? Think about it. 
and your answer will be it determines where and how fast the chair moves now we have a question number four what is the main idea of this page the main idea is the effects of mass look at the picture as you pull a wagon on the sidewalk the wheels rub against the sidewalk causing a friction now look at the box you can see there is a pushing force with the blue circle and the motion will be in the same direction of the pushing force while the friction will be against the direction of the motion so friction is a contact force that acts against the direction of motion look at the picture you can see there is a rough surface and the rough surface causing a friction so friction can slow down or stop the object friction depends on the surface that drop against each other for instance look at the rough surface that causes more friction than the smooth one please look at the pictures you can see that there is more friction between the grass and the wheels of the wagon than between the sidewalk and the wheels of the wagon have you ever seen a person operating a wheelchair like the one in the picture in front of you they can use a friction to control the motion of the wheelchair when the wheelchair is moving the operator can drag his hands on the hand rims that rotate along with the wheels so friction between the hands and the moving rims will cause the wheelchair to slow down now let's try to find the answer for question number five page 17 in your textbook write two places in the picture where friction is acting your answer will be friction is acting on the bowling ball and the bowler's wheelchair now let's go to question number six why do bowling alley owners keep the surface of the lanes smooth and polished okay your answer will be smooth lanes cause less friction so bowling roll faster now are you ready for the review let's find the answers for these questions question number one what is a force excellent your answer is a force is a push or a Now, what is the contact force that acts against the direction? That acts against the direction. Your answer will be A. Force or B. Friction. Correct! Your answer is friction. The third question is, what causes the wagon to move toward you? To move toward you, do you think? A. Pull it. B. Push it. Correct! Your answer is pull it. Now, please. Look at the picture. What do you think will happen if you push the bookcase in the opposite direction of your friend? So, I think the forces will be equal in size. The forces cancel each other out. Then, the net force is zero. So, at the end, the bookcase does not move. These forces 
are balanced. Balanced forces are the forces that are equal in size and opposite in direction. They do not create a change in motion. Now please open your book to page 18. Motion and Combined Forces Look at the picture to the left and then let's read together. As a kite flies through the air, it dips and it dives. What forces act on the kite? The force of the wind pushes it up. Weight is one of the forces pulling it down. The boy also pulls down on the string. So, each push or pull has its own amount of force. Each force also acts in its own direction. Now, look at the question number 9, page 18. Draw arrows to show the balanced forces. Now, think of two strong football players pushing against each other. If they each push with the same force but in the opposite directions, neither player move. Now let's try to find the answer for question number 8, page 18. Each player is applying force. The two players do not move. What is happening? The answer is, the players are not moving because they are using equal force. Look at the picture and tell me, what happens if another friend joins you? The force of your friend combines with your force. The forces become unbalanced, right? Unbalanced forces, like in the picture, they are forces that are not equal in size and are opposite in the direction. They can change the motion, speed, or direction of a moving object. Now open your book to page 20. Look at the picture to the left. This crane is using a large magnet to pick up objects. So, magnetism is a non-contact force that pulls on or attracts metal objects containing iron. Now look at the pictures down. Magnets do not attract wood, paper, plastic, or other objects that do not contain iron. Let's try to find the answer for equation number 12 in page 20. Look at the picture. How do you know that the objects being lifted are made of metal containing iron? Of course your answer will be, I know they contain iron because the magnet can pick them up. Go to page number 21. Look at the picture. The magnetic fields force pulls the paper clips toward the magnet. Now let's, let's try to find um, the answer for question number 13. Why is a magnetism is a non-contact force? The answer is a magnet can pull metal objects containing iron without touching them. At the end, question number 14. What happens if you hit a baseball hard or softly and why? The baseball moves farther than the harder it's hit because the greater the amount of force, the greater the motion. Now let's go to question number 15. How can the force of the magnetism cause objects to move. The magnetic field around magnets causes them to pull a metal object containing iron. Thanks for watching Ray 3. Goodbye.